Hey, I'm Trevor, and I love programming. I wanted to share my love with everyone, so I created this channel. So let's get into the lesson. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be going over escape sequences. Escape sequences um, can kind of be confusing just by the name, but they're actually very simple once you get um, get used to um, remembering the the letters you need for them. So first, let's go ahead and start with um, just right now a simple sentence to the console. Let's do C sharp. Oh, jump. Is really cool. And run it. And now you can see, like it's done before, it just prints what we put into the console. But say you wanted to put quotation marks around the C sharp to just emphasize it, right? Well, if you try to run it, it's going to tell us that we're using too many um, quotation marks. So, what we need to do in order to do this is use the escape sequence for quotation marks. And to do this, you use backslash quotation mark, the double quotes, backslash quotation marks at the beginning and the end of the phrase you're trying to um, put in quotation marks. So now let's run it. And boom. C sharp is really cool in C sharps and quotations. So let's go ahead and um, keep in good practice and just label this. So let's do escape sequence for quotation marks. Now for the next one, let's just go ahead and copy this. And say we like when that okay, so when we're running this and we see that C sharp is like, you know, it can be kind of confusing having two types of double quotes in there. So maybe you want to do single quotes. So this so in order to get single quotes in there, you just do the same thing. Very simple. You just put the single quote instead of the double quote. So when you run it, boom, you have single quotes. So let's go ahead and label this one. Let's do it's for single quotes. Kind of mess on my OCD. Oh. So for another one, this is the most common one you're probably going to see. It's, let's go ahead and paste our right line. And let's say we want to put all this on a separate line, right? So like you do C sharp, then a new line. Is a new line really is a new line. Then a new line, then cool. In order to do this, we need to do backslash in. Backslash in is the escape sequence for a new line and then when we run it you'll see that each one is on a new line now you'll probably see that we have a space right here that's because we did space new line space so it's doing space new line then space again so in order to get rid of those spaces we need to delete all of our spaces in between our escape sequences and boom, now they're all aligned. Now I want to throw this one in just because I thought it was really cool. But let me go ahead and label this escape sequence for a new line. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this, it's gonna be the escape sequence. Sorry, my typo is just all over the place today. Escape sequence for an alert sound. And the thing about this one is, say you're running long lines of code and you want it to send you an alert when you get to a certain section. So whenever you're doing this, you just simply, let's go ahead and paste what we had. You just do this, you just do backslash, a backslash a will send your computer an alert noise 
and it should pick it up whenever I run it. So let's run it. Hopefully you heard that. And it automatically just sends us an alert. It's a nice little handy feature. I thought it, um, it's, I think it's something that's really cool just because you don't really see it a lot. And it's just something you can implement whenever um, you want to in your code. Well, that is um, a brief overview of the escape sequences. There are plenty more. I just went over the ones that, that are most common and are most used. I will um, have a link to Microsoft's list of um, escape sequences in case you want to play around with them, as well as a Google Doc down below that, incor that will include um, the code and um, help of the notes of this lesson. Um, there's a Discord link below if you want to join it. I'll help with questions. And um, you can just have a general chat with me as well. If you found this video useful, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.